Today's video is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. So far on Science Top 5, we've concentrated on physics and astronomy. So this month, I thought I'd change the pace a little bit and we'll take a look at the animal world. This is something that has fascinated me since I was very young, watching pretty much every single David Attenborough programme that the BBC churned out. So sit back, relax, sort yourself out a hot beverage and check out with me the top five fastest animals in the world. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Science Top 5 with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very, very much for being here. Yes, if you've ever been asked about fast animals, you can bet your bottom dollar that you've probably mentioned the cheetah. But where does it rank on our list, if at all? I think some of these will surprise you. So let's kick things off with an honorary mention for an animal that didn't quite make it onto the list, the mantis shrimp. I love to watch boxing, but even the best boxers in the world can't pack a punch like the mantis shrimp. Native to the coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, this little pugilist grows no bigger than 18 centimetres long, and despite its name, the mantis shrimp is actually a stomatopod, which are closer related to lobsters and crabs. Now, this little animal isn't very fast when it's trying to move itself along, but when it whips out its front legs when it feels threatened, then it's got a real turn of speed. The highly aggressive and territorial mantis shrimp can extend those front legs at a staggering 51 miles per hour. The acceleration is so quick that you can blink in the time it would take the mantis shrimp to do this 50 times, and can even give a 0.22 calibre bullet a run for its money. What an animal. Right, let's move on to our main list. I just couldn't leave that little leg slinger out. Right, in at number five is the cheetah. It may come as a surprise to you that the cheetah is only number five on this list, and that is partly due to how we're distinguishing speed for this list. As the mantis shrimp example will tell you, we're not just considering animals that can move themselves along at speed. We're also considering other things like the speed of the mantis shrimp's front legs. Whilst the cheetah is certainly the fastest land animal with a top speed of 64 miles per hour, it certainly isn't the fastest thing in the animal kingdom. And the other thing to note about the cheetah is it can only run at that fast speed for a relatively short amount of time. The closest land animal in terms of speed to the cheetah is the pronghorn gazelle, which can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. A wonderful example of how the predator-prey relationship and adaptation plays a big part in the evolution of these animals. Okay, next up and in at number four is the sailfish. The sailfish is found to have two subspecies, the Atlantic and the Indo-Pacific, which gives you a bit of a clue about where they're found. Sailfish get their name from the wonderful dorsal fin that stretches the length of its body, and some have been known to grow up to three metres long. Originally, the sailfish was said to have a top speed of 68 miles per hour, and this was figured out when a sailfish once took 300 feet of fishing line in three seconds. Off the back of this, Richard Branson sponsored a tagging project which tracked the sailfish and using accelerometer equipped tags measured an acceleration of 17.5 metres per second squared. Now if that sailfish travelled for more than two seconds, it would have clocked a top speed of 78 miles per hour and to put it into context, achieve a g-force more than that of a Bugatti Veyron going 0 to 60. There is a lot of speculation about the fastest fish in the ocean, but for now, will award it to the sailfish. Okay, let's move on and get to number three on this list, which is the trapjaw ant. Yes, you may be looking at me now thinking, what are you talking about, Dan? How can an ant be that fast? Well, it can, but not in the way you think. Found in Central and South America, the trapjaw ant is named so because of the way it opens and shuts its mandibles. Their jaws can open at 180 degrees and then lock back into place. And they've got these tiny little sensory hairs that are like a little trip wire to tell the ant when to close their jaws. Now, when they want to catch their prey and the trip wire is touched, the trap jaw ant closes its jaws 
at a speed of 145 miles per hour. Quite staggering. And even more interesting is how the trapjaw ant evades getting caught by any predators. It simply turns its mouth to the ground, sets off its jaws and propels itself off to escape any harm. Amazing. Right, in at number two, and only just pipping the trapjaw ant, is the termite soldier. Again, you could be giving me an odd look right now, but stay with me. The lowly termite is found in many places all over the world, and you can probably recognise a termite mound anywhere. But, why are they on this list? Well, not all termites are on this list, just the termite soldiers, whose main job is to protect the nest and they've evolved a bite that is as devastating as it is fast. Getting on their back in front of any enemy, they then position their jaws just below the intruder's head. Then, pushing its mandibles against themselves really, really hard until one slips over the other, the termite soldier will produce a 150 mile an hour snap. This shoots both the termite soldier and the intruder backwards, and the victim will almost certainly be killed. Right, that brings us on to the world's fastest animal. And as you might have guessed, it belongs to a bird, more specifically, the peregrine falcon. Being one of the most common birds of prey, the peregrine falcon is found all over the world except Antarctica. Becoming no bigger than around 50 centimeters, a peregrine falcon attacks its prey in a maneuver called a stoop. Climbing to a high altitude, the bird will dive bomb down at speeds up to and above 200 miles an hour to catch its prey. The highest speed ever clocked by a peregrine falcon was 242 miles per hour. Quite staggering. Wow, what a lineup of speed that was. And it gives me just enough time to once again thank the sponsors of today's video, The Great Courses Plus. A subscription on demand video learning service with top notch courses and lectures from top professors of the Ivy League and other universities globally with experts from places like National Geographic, the Smithsonian, and the Colony Institute of America. You can get unlimited access to a huge library of over 11,000 videos on anything that interests you. Science, maths, literature, history, or even how to cook, play chess, or become a better photographer. I've been checking out great ideas of classical physics taught by Professor Stephen Pollock. If you follow any of the Flat Earth videos, I think lecture two would be particularly interesting on describing motion. The Great Courses Plus is giving all of you a great offer of a free trial, so show your support and subscribe to The Great Courses Plus and visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash simandan for your free trial today. Right, that brings this episode of another Science Top 5 to a lovely close. If you enjoyed watching today, then please, please do like and subscribe. It'll be thoroughly appreciated. I have been Simon Dan, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'll see you on Tuesday for the second part of the Kent Hoven video. See you then.